at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the San Francisco 49ers. It's a rematch of Super Bowl 47 minus one Harbaugh. The Ravens and 49ers are underway. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. Let's well, there go. you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Oh, and the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Play action. Now Purdy. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. They need 12 here. It's third down. McCaffrey running up the middle. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. Purdy on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Niners first down, it would appear. Yes, he does by a full yard. They get the conversion on fourth and two. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. Go, now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Purdy looking to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens will take over possession here up at the 44. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Hey, middle, middle, middle. Yeah, yeah. You at X. You at X. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Hey, middle, middle, middle. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Throwing on first down. It's Jackson. Being chased out left. That is caught, Rashad Bateman. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Well, we changed it. Report, report. Hey, hey. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And it's caught. And in for the Ravens' touchdown. Nelson Aguilar from 21 yards away. And the Ravens use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream, one you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. 
Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it second down and 11. Let's go now. Come 19. Come 19. Okay. Throwing here, Purdy. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. After the interception, here's Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. They'll come up now third and three. To throw is Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll run here with Edwards. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. Call it a gain of nine there, and it puts him in better shape here for second and goal. That's a great run right there on first hey, 13, 13. down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Third and goal, Jackson. They'll roll him out right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's hey, see Chuck. what they do on fourth and goal. Well, yeah, I think yeah. they threw it with the idea that if they didn't hey, get middle, it, middle, middle. they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Isaiah Likely. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, an all-out battle on fourth and goal. Hey, offense hey, versus that, defense, that. and the offense won it. And I'm just wondering what was going through the minds of the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Were they? Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and, oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward, it's just not there. That's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 
A well-executed 22-yard gain. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Now second and three. You see Purdy, he's going to shift him around. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw, Purdy. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers have got it back to within a score. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And he returns this to the 22. Forward. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On third down, Jackson. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Hey, middle, middle, middle. Go. Again, Jackson. Setting up the screen here to Edwards. He's across midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Jackson on first down. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Zay Flowers, 43 yards. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, hey. Charles. Three drives. Three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, yo, yo. I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in you baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they can continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final play of the half, Purdy. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. 
So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. A gain there of 30 big ones. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners 41. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. From the gun, it's Jackson. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's Jair Brown who's got it. And now the rookie's free. Down the sideline he goes. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. So that potentially a turning point here this third quarter. A two-score lead down to one now following the pick six. And that had to be the message at halftime for this defense delivered and accepted. We need to go out there and make something happen. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Now Lamar changing the look. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And he will bring this down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. From the two now, second and goal. McCaffrey trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. 
Purdy now to throw off to play action. Flushed out right. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Brock Purdy punching it in from a yard away. And the Niners take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Moody good with the extra point. And we are tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They'll need to regroup after the costly interception yeah, yeah. last time. It led to a tying touchdown. 21 all is where we stand, and they've got it first and 10. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's Edwards again on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So here's a third and 14. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Play action. Now Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off. Back now here in Santa Clara. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Throwing is Jackson. The looking deep here for Flowers. He's got it. Hit the 15. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Now a big play here as the Ravens are going to go for the two-point conversion. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now something they never really did before they couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half a gorgeous day one score game first and ten here and they will only muster a yard here to the 38 and now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up throwing on second down it's Purdy Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from a yard out. And the 49ers have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Purdy will throw for it. 
And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early opportunity? Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. It's Jair Brown who's got it. And the 49ers are right back in this football game. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now Purdy. Now that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. Down to the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, 60 yards. And the Niners use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is up to five. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth. And that's intercepted yet again. And that could be the backbreaker. It's Jair Brown who's got it. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Here's Purdy on first and 10. And his throw is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Purdy from the gun. That is caught by the tight end Kettle. See, one day I went to the park and his old man told me to shut the fuck up and play the gun. Yeah, see, like, this, this old man said, stop talking. He told me stop talking and just play the game, young man. That's what he said. That's what he said, though. That's what he said. He said, sit your young ass down and play. That was the old man told me. And what's more important is being able you, to... You sound like an old to man, too. You play good game. I'm just saying, I got to shut the fuck up and play. Right? Right? Because if I would have came in here talking like a young... You know, I just lost to hear each man. I got to see how you, I gotta see how you play. It's cool. I just can't come in here talking crazy. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down it is. inside the 20. All I can do is, all I can do now, look, all I can do now is get up and shake your hand and walk off and go smoke my, you know? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's all you can do. Because if her, you would be my life, do something a little different. And a great return here gets if I would have came in here talking crazy with my radio loud, I we in a quiet ass party, you would have been like this, you yeah. We not going to make it. We not going to make it. But I came up with my motherfucking notepad. I'm sitting there looking at how you move, you know what I'm saying? With less experience or less talent. But a quarterback big ass nigga. I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never. Not you talk shit though, old school. I fuck with. 
It's like playing dominoes, nigga. You don't know what a nigga gonna do next, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so why you tell that dumb ass domino out there? I'm finna get 20 on your young head. Damn, my boy. It was. That nigga Lamar just can't throw like that. You gotta be the read, the run pass, the run, run pass option shit with that nigga. Moody yeah. good with the extra point, and that will make this a 19 point. Yeah, why I don't play with Lamar so like that? After the main field goal by Moody, he's back out. You gotta to get like. Away. You gotta get niggas in like. The, you gotta get niggas gonna like Patrick Mahomes and shit like Dak Prescott. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. That's all you gotta do. Run the ball and throw that whole five yards. And set to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty the much look good on the paper. It looks amazing. Several things with this ball game, but they just hold it on both the wounds. They've had several turnovers. Accuracy. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right about right, look that. Look at that shit. Look how long it took the ball to get there. Goodness, another interception. In real life, he's not doing that. Who's got it? Niners are gonna get the football here. They got him out here looking like Dak last year. And Dak was trash. Now Dak is cold as fuck this year. 